All right, Rich Rossi here. I'm staring into the light. Is this what happens when you pass on? You uh, go to the light. Go to the light. Wait, but we want you to stay right here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now You got some time, and <laughs> I'm working on a project you. with you. I need you to That's stick right. around. I, and what is that project called? Saving Little Italy. We're getting it out there. <laughs> Thank you, and you're doing a wonderful job, let me just say, as a producer. And we're going to get to you in a second, because I, wa I watched you in that movie, and you don't even look like the character that you played in the movie. You're just so different. I know. So we're gonna keep people surprised. Keep yes, yes, and we are. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Corinne. Yes. I'm all choked up talking to you. <laughs> so now you produced this. You were one of the producers on this project. I am indeed. How did this come about? How did you find this project? And I came uh, about this project through Amy Linden, who's the director, and she brought me on. She t uh, talked to the uh, executive producer about bringing me on, brought me on, and it's it's it was been, a good move. It was, good move. It, it was a good move on her part. Yeah, I think. <laughs> and that Amy, she knows she knows. Who to pick. Now, how did you get into producing? Well, um, how did I get into producing? Because I can never stand still. So even though I'm a creative person, just doing one thing isn't enough for me. And as a producer, I feel so creative because I can bring all these people together. I can bring a director, a writer, a project, a space, a location, whatever it is. The actors. I, I feel there's a, a lot of creativity and putting other creative people together and so, see what so happens. So it's, it's kind of a um, it's kind of a natural for you because yeah, you're always you're always networking anyway. Yeah, and I always you know what I'm that person who seems to know that person. Right. I, I really do. I, I someone joked that I know everyone, and I think I might actually know everyone. It's just now, I, I always think you should get into fashion design or something because you always have these uh, remarkable fashion-looking things going on here, and you look great again. I love the hat. And okay, I just threw this. You should on work this with morning. Sean Lucas Savage. He's on the other side. He designs his glasses, and uh, he's phenomenal. You two get together, you'll take over the world in fashion. I'll tell you. Thank you. No, I like going to the garment district, and um, I like anything that's kind of periods from like the 20s or 30s. Well, you look great. Corinne Spicer, that we're talking to here, is an up-and-coming, incredible little producer and who knows what else. And I think she has a promising career doing a lot of stuff. But uh, producing is wonderful. And she's doing Saving Little Italy, which we're very excited about. So can you introduce this young lady to my right over here? Oh, this is one of our stars, Deja. All right. It's really funny because as soon as you were saying her little fashion sense, the first thing I had said to her upon meeting her was, I love her hats. Oh yeah, this yeah, one yeah, is a yeah. New one too. I haven't seen this one. Now your it's character, because I watched the movie, and yes. I'm trying to remember. I remember, of course, the actress. Uh huh. What was your? You you were kind of a sassy, a bit sassy in the movie. Um, uh, um, yeah, sassy drunk. <laughs> sassy. Okay, okay. So you want to get And then they had the transvestite person. That was somebody else. Of course. No, um, no, he is. He is not a transvestite. Oh, he's not a transvestite. No, he is just very unisex. Oh, it is a guy, though. And yes, it is. is the word. Androgynous. Okay, okay. Very funny. That was a very funny... Is that person here today? Or? Unfortunately, he had an emergency, and he wasn't able to make it, but he did send a text to everyone sending his support. Okay. So. He was very funny. Yes. And you were drunk most of the uh, scene. Um, I'm, I plead the fifth. <laughs> no, not, not, I mean, you were acting. <laughs> yes, right? yes, yes. Why, did you get into character by really drinking? Is that oh, no, <laughs> not at all. I, you have to stay focused. I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't drink. No, no definitely not. Well, no. we don't want to give that message out there. So, well, that was a, we did a wonderful job. It was a great little, we had all these folks come over here and support you in this phenomenal crowd that you have over here today. We have a lot of friends. I see that. Well, they, well but it's also a very good movie. It's a cute little movie. Uh, is this going to be taken into another level of, uh, like try to go into theatrical, uh, longer extension, or what am I saying? Kind of are you trying? Are you trying to get money to make it a feature? Always oper when if the opportunity presents itself. Of course, we're not going to hesitate. It was a great company. We all worked well together, so it's not something that we're like, oh, I don't know if I want to see that person type so thing. So there's a good chemistry, and you all would consider oh, working great. together. Yeah. Great chemistry. You can see that. You can see With that. With cast, crew, okay. everyone. So well, you guys were and you did a wonderful performance. Tell everybody out there your name and. My name is Deja Jones. All right, watch out for her and watch out for this Hollywood producer coming over here, Corinne Spicer. So, on behalf of Festival Week, I'm Rich Rossi. Thank you so much.